Witnesses tell me federal investigators arrived here right around 9 a.m. and as of 4 p.m. they were still on scene investigating alleged violations of environmental law. An investigation is takes as long as it takes and uh, uh, I can't provide any details as it relates to that. Bert Marsden was tight-lipped about the investigation Thursday afternoon. He is the man in charge of the EPA's criminal division in Montana. Outside the company's Bozeman offices, agents from the FBI and Environmental Protection Agency moved in and out all day. I sat there for hours and watched investigators sift through boxes, moving in and out through a back door of the facility. I spoke to several people in nearby offices. No one would go on camera, but most of them had no idea an investigation was going on in their backyard. And this is not the first time we have reported about this company. Their trouble started last year after OSHA inspectors fined the company $45,500 for safety violations related to lead. A month later, the Gallatin City County Health Department issued an alert warning that 22 people, most were current or former workers at USA Brass, tested positive for elevated levels of lead. According to the Mayo Clinic, exposure to lead, even just a little bit, over time can damage the kidneys and nervous system. The EPA investigator wouldn't tell me whether this investigation was directly related to last year's findings, but did say the public should not be concerned. I can make the statement that there's no immediate threat to the public or uh, the community at this time. Reporting in Bozeman, Jordan Moore, NBC Montana.